What is up, my dudes? This is Yardbro, and you're tuning into another episode of my lawn. Alrighty. Winter Verticut. Is this man crazy, or is he actually on to something? Yes. The reason why I'm verticutting right now is because of the moss. Now, in previous seasons, I was just applying some moss out to get rid of this moss. It would turn black in a couple weeks, but then I'm still, you know, fighting, and then I'm having to put, you know, products down, and then they won't penetrate. So we need to get rid of this moss. There's a ton of moss. There's a ton of random debris. We're not dethatching. We're just getting rid of dead, not dormant, but dead material, as well as that moss. I don't want to compete with it this year. I'm sorry. And uh, it, it's just so brown right now. And the grass, you can tell, is just iron deficient. So we're going to put down the molly coddle mix. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to hit it up with molly coddle. And it's going to look amazing in the next couple weeks. I'm telling you right now. Now, it, it sucks because most of you guys, you still have a bunch of snow. I mean, it just snowed today. I was mowing in the snow like an idiot. <laughs> And a lot of you guys are like, well, we have six feet of snow. Holy moly. That's too much snow. But yeah, it is cold. The things I'm doing right now are literally preventative. And it's pregame. So I'm doing preventative things like spraying tenacity, spraying progress EC to get rid of Poa Annua. But all this stuff is pregame to set us up for March. Because this time last season in March, that grass was looking fire like i was looking at old videos and my gosh there was a difference see last season i applied malorganite before winter before i took the winter break that's a major difference i didn't do that this year i just had too much like i said too much stuff going on but if you if you can now apply some malorganite we just put some more so you're, you're thinking to yourself this guy just put some malorganite down and then now he's gonna verticut? Isn't that wasting it? No, it's already in there. It rained, it's all up in there, and it, it's gonna be good. Now, generally, <laughs> you should have verticut before and then applied, you know, the product. It's all good, it, it, it's still there. You can, you can see some of the, you know, melted malorganite, <laughs> the melted faces, if you may. The melted a poop. <laughs> <laughs> so yep here we go with the verticutting. cutting there is a lot of material coming up so i am going to let you guys watch this a craziness Show you what this moss is doing, okay? Thank you. 
goodness gracious look at all that material yes very much needed this is much needed now a couple things if your if your grass is wet and if you're if if you can see wet if you can see mud don't do this this is not the time to do that you you got to wait as for me as you can see the material is dry and just the moss is moist <laughs> it's a it's a moist so perfect perfect conditions in the back i can't do this it's muddy back there the moss is taken over it's it's nuts back there but as for the front we're good to go so after we hit this up we're gonna do some molly coddling okay we're gonna hit it up with some triple 16 is it too early to fertilize mm, we did it last year worked out just fine is it too early to uh get a little iron down absolutely not because you are verticutting the grass is looking a little iron deficient and now that you get all that material out all that moss is out that iron is going to penetrate the soil and it's actually going to get really dark green even now it's going to be crazy watch you're thinking i'm crazy okay i applied this iron a couple days ago i went back and it's i'll show you i'll show you at the end you're gonna be like oh wow there is a difference yes there is these are all calculated things that i do <laughs> trust me I, I i learn from experience i i've been doing this for a, a, a second now i'm not saying i'm a pro but so far everything that i've done it has has worked you know am i, am I getting lucky maybe but all these things that i study with the lawn is it too early i mean in december okay come on that's just too much work take a break <laughs> january take a break here in in the pacific northwest we're looking at may 20th as spring that's a month away so are you going to start march 20th or are you going to do a little bit of pregame so you make it easier on yourself later. I'm, I'm going to verticut multiple times this year. That is a must. That is part of the repertoire now. Like 100% verticutting has changed the game. Last year changed the game a lot. I didn't know you could that you can do that. You know? But as I vertic, I mean I verticutted a ton last year. And there was no material. The grass was just, oh, it was so lush and short. And there was no dead material uh, it, it's the best it's the best feeling yes 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 as you can see the grass has been a little bit growing and it's turning darker I mean look at look look, look at the beamer and then look at the grass there is a difference from that molly coddle mix. I'm telling you, the grass is like, oh, finally, thank God someone is feeding us. Someone is taking care of the way we look again. <laughs> it looks good. It looks flat. It's level. I mean, I'm, I'm going to sand again. I'm going to apply some sand. We're going to make that happen. Probably middle of March. And then a little overseed action, a little aeration action. I'm not going to aerate just yet because the ground is really, really, it, it's looking healthy. The soil is looking healthy. It's not muddy, but it's definitely a moist. So yes, my, 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 my dudes, it's going good. We're gonna see what we can do in the next couple days. I'm not gonna review any of these uh, uh, products yet because it's a little too early. We're just gonna keep on jibba jabbing and find something to do in the lounge. You guys are the best. We'll get to the next video. Take it easy.